talk to us. We love it when you're involved on the show on Twitter. Our channels underscore sports and on Facebook. Our channels are FN Sports. Use the hashtag 2016chan. Yes, that's what we're talking about right now. And says if they can beat Niger 4 1, they can beat Tunisia 5 0. Talk to us using the hashtag Super Egos are also. Badminton in Nigeria. What's going on with badminton in Nigeria? Last night, the Nigerian Badminton Federation, the board, uh, sent to release that they have banned the former national coach, Mohamed Bako, for five years. What did he do wrong? Stick around. We'll tell you everything this morning on the show. We'll also make it on the hashtag, hashtag Taekwondo in Nigeria. Yes, renewed hope for the team. They've been registered for the Olympic qualifying tournament in Morocco and they will be getting visas this week and then travel for that championship. Let's also talk about the Australian Open. Let's keep the, the conversation going. Also, the FA Cup. Leicester City out. They're doing big things in the league but they're out of the FA Cup and the MPFL Super 4. Victory for Worry Wolves against Aqua United in the opening game, but uh, Nasrawa and Aimba shared the points. They played 1 1. Uh, that's it right there. Talk to us with those hashtags. So much to talk about this morning on the show. Cecilia, let's talk about Taekwondo in Nigeria. A lot came out, a lot of allegations to the coach that first, the medical team of the NSC advised Coach yeah. Mohamed Bako, don't play a certain player because this guy is not fit. And that guy played at the African That's the bad game. meeting, right? Yeah, yeah. a bad yeah. meeting. Yeah. He played at the... And then they, they said again that the coach has not represented the country in good light. So they came out and said, five years, Coach Mohamed Bako shouldn't be involved with bad meeting again. It's not an issue. Yes, yeah. your no. players can okay. call you and, and do whatever sure. you, you do to you. But it's important we also hear from the coach. We listen to the... So the president of the federation last night and he said all of this but Cecilia, do you think does this sound unfair yeah I, I wouldn't say unfair because i mean i listened to the president yesterday when you interviewed him on sports event and he says that you know when a coach decides to go to a tournament with two confirmed injured players it simply means the coach it's not ready I, he doesn't really want the team to win. I mean, for the first time they went to the All Africa Games and they came back empty handed. They didn't want that. Mm. They felt if he had gone with players who were fit, maybe mm. they would have won. That's, I'm judging from that. That was just side a silver story, and about five bronze. And, uh, 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 exactly. So there was no, 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 no uh, gold medal for me at all. And I remember I actually spoke with some badminton players in Lagos, you mm -hmm. know, uh, during the All Africa Games when it was about to start. Yeah, before the All Africa Games started. And they were saying something like, look, they are young players. They were at the badminton classics. They felt they were going to pick some players from the classics, I mean the champions from the different categories that they did not actually pick them. They wanted to go with the same old players who went to the previous one. So they were, some of them were really not happy about that. So now if you have some talent here who should have gone for the competition, you didn't pick them, you're picking the injured ones. I think it's uh, you're doing a disservice to the taekwondo play, uh, the badminton, badminton players, players mm. themselves who you did not pick and you're relying on the ones you feel okay can give you the medal. That's, that's from but the, coach the, the foundation play. perspective. Like what some fans will tell you, play half fit Messi. Oh. Uh, it, player it, that will not, not give see, you the results. This is, this is all Africa games. I mean, you're looking at how, I mean, the numbers of medals the country is going to win. That's what you're looking at. You're looking at playing your best players. Why do you think some coach, some coaches, if you're a player, it's no matter the kind of injury, they wouldn't want to play them. They look for another player to play. Mm. I wouldn't really, we'll get to hear from him, his That's own right. side of the story. Yeah. You know, but if it's true that you actually had to take injured players to a tournament, I think it's really not fair. Mm. Um, Austin and Cecilia, I will leave it as allegations that have right. been That's leveled right. mm. against him. He's, he's going to clear the air today. That's right. But just to add to what you said um, about playing a, a half fit. Uh, Messi, um, <laughs> as athletes and as footballers, whatever sport you do, yeah. um, you're bound not to be 100% fit all the times. Okay. The times when you're carrying knocks and you get to play through them. We've, seen, right. we've seen several yeah. examples. Even in the, even in the course well, of the game, exactly. a, a so player seen, comes and then you have bandage all over him. And and yeah, but if you aggravate so, the injury and yeah. all that, that's yeah, so usually... That's if you ask Tiger Woods, he will tell you it's not the best thing to do. Yeah, but then it happens. As sportsmen, you sometimes you're not 100% fit and you've got to play through whatever injury you're mm. carrying. Mm. The coach is going to join us today right. and clear the air. Mm. On that particular issue. That's right. So yeah. let's go to Abuja uh, Studios. Coach Mohamed Bako is standing by. We told you that the Badminton Federation of Nigeria, they have banned him for five years. Let's go to Abuja now and hear from the coach. Good morning, coach, and welcome to the program. Good morning, Mr. Austin, Cecilia, and the rest. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Coach Mohamed Bako. It has been alleged that you took 
Jim Kambulus to the African Games in Congo, Brazzaville, knowing fully well that he wasn't fit for that competition and you played him. You, it has also been alleged that you did not represent the country in good light. What's your opinion on, of, of all this? Ah, uh, well, to start with, I, I think that is a, a, a wrong notion. Very, very wrong notion. Because what the doctor, that is Dr. Maazu, um, from the Sports Commission, um, cleared Jim Khan. He did not specify that Jim Khan cannot play. He said Jim Khan can play, but when he comes back from the Ola Praga Games, he's afraid. He's, he cannot be able to play badminton again. So that is a point that has to be noted. He did not say that Jim Khan cannot play. And at that particular time, Jim Khan is, is a vital, is very, very vital to the team. You can't do away without Jim Khan at that particular moment. Jim Khan is a champion in singles and doubles. So we, based on what the doctor um, called me and told me, and um, that the Jim Khan's leg is, is very, very serious, and this is what he's afraid of. In fact, he even quoted that... Um, um, it has happened to one of the footballers, the present coaches, that is Daniel Amokachi. So that's exactly what is afraid for Jim Khan. So in my capacity as a coach, I now call Jim Khan. This is the report. What do we do? Jim Khan said, I've already served Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian champion, African champion. I have won in singles and doubles. So for me not to get my team in this array, we now agreed. I now told the doctor that, look, I want to feature Jim Khan, but we reduced, we reduced the workload from Jim Khan. Our major aim there is to get the gold medal. Okay, we are looking for gold medals, two gold medals from Jim Khan. If we can get two, we can get one. I think that's a very good one. So, I now told the doctor that, look, we'll remove Jim Khan from the single so that at least he can be 100% fit and good for the doubles event. That was my decision as per Jim Khan's participation in all Africa games. And you see, if the board can now come and say that they're not aware, I, I think that's a very, 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 very wrong. It's a very, very wrong, very, very wrong. Because as a coach, you must tell your board your strategy in winning. After making all the plans, I was given 12 players to carry to all Africa games. So with the problem of Jim Khan, okay, if we remove Jim from the singles, I will need more players. I explained all this and everything to the president that this is my strategy. So that one, all the players playing should not play more than three events that will give them enough time, enough strength, enough concentration so that we can be able to achieve our goal. And the president agreed with me. He even went ahead, spoke with the DG, and they added two more players for us. So if they will not come and say that I purposely carried Jim Khan to Congo, I think it's very, very unfair. And one more thing. The president has said that I carried a player who is injured. And he didn't tell the world that that same player has won a bronze medal. He won a bronze medal, which means that my tactical plan has been in place. If not because he lost in the semi-final. If he has reached the final, there would be no any ban for Coach Mohamed Bako. Hmm. But because he lost in semi-final and he has a bronze so I don't know why the board did not tell the world that the injured player that I took has won a bronze. And honestly speaking, Austin, you will have to help me, bail me out against future and even my fellow colleagues that will be coming back. Is it a crime where you now featured a player that you think is not well, but after your calculation, you know that he can be able to deliver? And he went and he delivered because bronze is a medal. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. And Paco, you uh, said you are banning coach. the coach 
for five years because he featured somebody that brought a bronze to the country. 